efficacy option number three, sports medicine. Step number three, toe taps. When injury occurs, it's important to assess the injury or the incident before taking any action. The initial response of danger response, airway, breathing, circulation, and defibrillation should be applied in any situation. However, in most sports injury cases, the athlete is conscious. If this is the case, the trainer then continue with the assessment of the injury and the use of the toe taps acronym should be applied. The T. T stands for talk. Talk to the injured athlete to determine what has happened and what they may have heard. Is there any pain? Where is the location of the pain? Is the pain getting worse? Or is there a crack or a snap hurt? The O stands for observe. Look at the injured site and compare it to the other side to see if there's any swelling or deformity or discoloration or bleeding. The T, the next T stands for touch. Gently feel the area for anything that feels out of place or is unusual. Begin away from the injured site and work towards the site to gauge an increase in pain for the injured player. Active movement. Ask the athlete to move the injured body part. If they are unable to continue, seek medical aid immediately. Passive movement. You are then going to move the athlete's limb gently and slowly. Stop at the point of pain or movement restriction. Do not allow the player to return to play unless there is a range of pain-free movement. The next area that would follow on is the skills test. Ask the player to stand up, to walk and then to jog slowly. Ask them to perform a few basic skills of the sport that they were playing. Only when they have been able to do this would they be allowed to return to play and this would also only be if they were pain free. Toe taps, talk, observe, touch, active movement, passive movement, skills test.